Hi guys, we're going book shopping to our favorite bookshop in Bucharest. We're doing this video. <laughs> doing this video because if I'm done, then I will probably buy more books than I need. So if I film it and tell you guys that I can only buy two books, then hopefully I will stick with the, this plan. It won't happen, but like, hopefully. And also, I never wore any makeup in my entire life, but now I'm obsessed with lipstick. But the problem is that I don't know how to put it on. So now I'm wearing like this every day I go out. Because why not? I need to practice wearing lipstick. I am obsessed right now. This bookshop literally looks like a palace. Uh, so every time I go in it, I feel like I'm a rich girl living my rich lifestyle. Um, don't laugh! <laughs> okay, so today I want to buy something different from what I usually read. Um, I usually read fantasy and like contemporary, but normal contemporary. I want now to try other types of formatting or other types, I don't know, poetry maybe or maybe uh, also contemporary but on topics that I wouldn't normally pick up. I want to challenge myself because I have a lot of free time on my hands right now and I have time to mingle and maybe choose different favorite books or different favorite types of books. Why are you laughing? She's judging me. She is judging me. Like usual. Like usual, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I heard about this. I heard about this. I don't know what it's about. Okay, let's read it. Okay, it sounds so interesting. <gasps> but it's 60 plays. That's basically, I think, 12 euros. This cover. Oh my god. Yeah, I've read this. You sh you, everyone should read this. Like, this is the best thing <laughs> in the world. It's the most sad. It's. It made me cry like 50 times. And this one, I've also read it, it's about uh, communism in Romania, but it's pretty much about... It's a main character that's a teenager, so it's pretty much young adult. Um, and it's written by an American author, so if you want to know more about communism, then it's very entertaining. So I know this author. I think she wrote like a fantasy novel, I don't remember the name of. But it was very... Well, the first book I enjoyed, but the the rest of them were m more sexual than I like. So I don't know if I should buy it or not. This one looks interesting. And it's only 32 at least. I feel like this one will really be outside of my comfort zone. But it's very small. And I think there's short stories. Yes. So I don't know. Literally everyone tells me to read Murakami. And I tried Norwegian Woods. But hear me out, like, that man has problems. So I don't know if I should, but I met a woman in the plane two months ago as I was coming back to Romania. She was one of the most interesting people I've met in my entire life. And she recommended Murakami to me and told me that I should like, or not like, but I should be aware of the strangeness of the world. And now I don't know if I should or not. Maybe a small book that's more like underrated we shall see. so I'm in the non-fiction part and I found some interesting science books but I don't know if I will read them I've always wanted to read this one my problem with non-fiction is that okay science I've tried like three books 
and I never finish them because if it's not fiction then it doesn't hold me into the book like I, I have no internal I don't know it, it, it doesn't give me dopamine the dopamine of a story going forward and like the questioning of whether or not the characters will be okay or like the, the questions that you overall have in a fiction book so I rarely read non-fiction so it's gonna be a challenge but at the same time I want to read science books so now I'm a bit confused but look how beautiful it is I usually try to find books that are fiction that also have some sort of science or like other things in it so I can also learn, not only read the story and learn about the characters and stuff, but I usually don't do that all the time, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just love this title. It's like hell of a book. I actually really enjoyed this. Like I, I like the cover. I like the the title. I'm curious so I'm gonna read that as well. Okay, so people, basically people start hearing voices. I think I'm gonna buy this one, even though I'm not sure. So I sat down with my little pics and now I'm gonna read, but like, look at how beautiful it is. Anyway, um, I'm gonna read some of it from here and see what I wanna finish at home and what I wanna download on Kindle. Because, let me be real, I'm a high school student, but I'm also broke, so I'm not gonna be able to pay for everything. This person I did not pick up this book just because of the cover. No, but look at this, it's gorgeous. But that book with um, the cat in the city, I don't know if I should buy it or not, but it has such an interesting description and I've read like five pages of it and it's formatted really interesting. So I don't think I'm gonna stick with two books, honestly. I ended up buying four books, but it's fine. It's fine. I have reasons. I'm gonna show them at home. In my own defense, which I don't have, but in my own defense, uh, every book is different. Like, I, I, there are different genres. Uh, I've never probably read anything like it before except for one which is kind of a comf not not really a comfort zone book but like I like I've liked the, the genre before uh, I'm trying to excuse myself for no reason here because spending money on books is like a hobby at this point so we have a game of chess and other stories by Stephen Zweig, I don't know, anyway, um, the thing is about this book is that it's a short story collection about chess and I've never read anything about chess before, I've only watched uh, The Queen's Gambit, but I've played chess when I was younger, so I think, it's, and it, I have memories with it, like strange memories, because it was a strange time of my life. Anyway, uh, so I think it's gonna remind me of that, but also I bought it because it's a short story collection and I like to write little notes on the corners of short stories, especially short stories because um, you can like go back and forth between the sections of the short story and figure out the structure and figure out how things link with each other and i really love catching all of that in with a pencil and making leaving my mark on the book anyway um i've also bought uh sherlock holmes the hound of the baskerville 
task reveals, I think. Um, the thing about this book is that I love the cover and I love Sherlock Holmes and I haven't read this book, so it wasn't really, I, it, it wasn't really deep thinking, it was more of an impulsive buy, but like look how beautiful it is. And I'm sorry I'm filming with the, my phone camera so you cannot read the thing, but I don't have enough memory on my phone to film with the back camera, so it is what it is. Uh, in any case, I'm, I'm not proud of this, but I'm also like, this is too beautiful to not buy, so at least for the artist. Leo, Leo Nichols. Leo Nichols. Anyway, uh, moving on, I've also bought a uh, Little Scratch, and what I love about this book is that the the format is completely weird, like it, it's not the format of a normal book, so I want to write on it. The thing is, I buy books because I want to, usually I have a reason for writing in them, because otherwise I can just read them on my Kindle or on my phone. But I buy physical books so I can re write on them and like they become my little diary. And I know some readers right now are very... I want to kill me. But... But... <laughs> um, it's just my way of reading and like leaving my mark on what I'm buying and what I'm... I getting emotionally involved in. The thing is that this is so interesting to see how, wh why it, it is written like this, like why, why what's the point, what's, why some of the um, letters are where in the page, and I think like, it's so interesting to figure out, and it's a waste to not catch everything on the paper, like, catch my thoughts, I don't know, I'll see a random word in the middle of the page, and I'll be like, okay, so why is that why is that word there and then just start writing around it i i just i'm just predicting what i'm gonna do but i'm for sure gonna do this um in any case i have no idea what this book is about but it's uh, shortlisted for the goldsmith's prize in 2021 and shortlisted for the desmond elliott prize in 2021 so it should be good um next in the last book i bought was the cat in the city and this book is basically it's a cat's perspective on tokyo and i'm learning japanese i want to go to tokyo probably gonna go in december so and also it has like little um strange things in it like it has I was about to drop it. It has small strange things in it. I don't know. Ah, uh, can't find any. But it has like, um, it has Japanese words. It has, I don't know what this is, but this is like not normal writing. It has, again, I have no idea what this is. But the the formatting and the oh. It has like photos of Tokyo um, between the pages. So I'm very interested in how those whole things add up to the story of the book. And I've read the first page and the last page and it seems really interesting. Well, the last page that was written. Yeah, it seemed very interesting. And also it has like little cat illustrations. So this sold me immediately. So that's all I bought, and I also bought like a small book for my little sister. Ooh, it's anyway. Uh, I bought a small book for my little sister. I don't know if she'll like it actually, because she uh, she started reading it and she says she said it was uh, fun. So why not? <gasps> it has illustrations. Wait, ah, wait. Ah, oh, no, it's not an illustration. Anyway, uh, moving on. So that's it. But that. It's for her, so it doesn't really count. I'm gonna say it doesn't count. So yeah, I only bought four books. And it it's okay, because I haven't bought any books in probably two or three months. So it's 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 fine. 
it's fine, it's fine, because uh, I moved to Switzerland and the, the prices for books there are... I do not afford to buy one book, like, <sighs> that's the reality of it. Uh, or like, I, I could probably afford, but I, my, 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 my soul doesn't let me. My rationality combined with my soul don't let me do that with my money because I'm a broke ass high school student who's going into college next year so no thank you um so yeah hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna take you with me probably in other book shopping days but I don't really book shop anymore since I moved from Romania and in Romania I find probably all of my I have all of my favorite bookshops as I showed you Kerturest, which is the one that I brought you with me today, to is literally a palace. It's <sighs> I feel like a little princess, but I feel like I've said that before. Anyway, in any case, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video and love you. Have the best day of your life. Bye bye. Kisses.